everyone. Welcome to our new Let's Play is. for Myths of the World of Fiends and Fairies. Game number four in the Myths of the World series. In my first Myths of the World game. I'm working on... Yeah, I didn't want like there to be like a giant silence at the beginning because of the loading. A great that will be gone later. Enduring power. Even better. No matter where the story comes from. This myth begins with a knock on the window. Opening is still the same, except there's more words on the bottom. It's hard to keep all these games in track when they don't number them or anything, but oh well. And I guess they do that with a lot of series. Big whoop. I forgot that they did footsteps at the end. It's been a long time since I've seen that intro, though. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, so let's get going. Let's not waste any time. We are going to be the good people again. Because that's just how we roll. Unless you have a yeah, better name. Alrighty. Let's just... Let's not have a, lug a laggy difficulty screen again. <laughs> you remember last time we did this? Yep. Alrighty. I think that looks good. Let me just check. Perfect. Yeah, alright, let's play. And we have to look at the creepy owl again while it loads extremely slower than in the beta for some reason. Who, who, who? Oh boy, this is getting fun. He's just gonna bump his head down while we wait. There we go. <laughs> Grandpa O'Neill, I wish you were here to read my drafts. You always gave such good advice. I'm trying to live up to your example, but you left awfully big shoes to fill. <gasps> what was that? Stupid owl. Uh, is it time for us to go to Hogwarts or something? No. We gotta <laughs> save the silly old fairy, though. Silly old owl. Shoot! Leave her alone! There's a strange glow around the door. Of course there is. You, this is already Phew. a fantasy Boy, world. Am so. I lucky you showed up? But you're not Mr. O'Neill. Where is he? This is his study. He's on vacation. <gasps> what do you mean he passed away? <laughs> oh, wow. We didn't say that. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss him. I was hoping he could help me too. 
someone's using magic to trap us fairy folk. You must be his granddaughter, right? My name's Orna. Are you a writer too? I bet you could help us, just like Mr. O'Neill did. But first things first. Mr. O'Neill was pretty handy with the needle and thread. And thanks to that pesky owl, I need a new dress. Can you help me out? Sure. I actually forgot I about that part. Of, um... Let's see here. I feel like there are more important things that we could be doing, but oh well. And in this game, I may not mention this before, we can collect goblin shoes if we really cared. I don't remember yeah. if it gives us a prize or not, though. Whoop. Okay, won't let me lock it. Okay. There we go. Oh, good. Now we can see our items. The needs within thread. My grandfather's old chest. Two more tokens and it'll open. Let's see here. We're just gonna take these petals because we're us. And now we're gonna sew them together into a pretty dress. Now that works pretty well, I suppose. Ding. We made it in like five seconds. Here you go. Oh my! Even better than your grandfather would have done. Here, well, he was this a guy, is the so... of true vision. Your grandfather gave it to me. It's a bit cracked, but it works. It'll show you where magicians have cast hidden spells. Uh, thanks. That'll do. This used to be my grandfather's. Funny, he never mentioned having a magical monocle. Why Pro would he? I wonder. Let's see here, just match the runes again, like last time. No surprise. Let's see here. There it is. And then this S thing. Goes <coughs> with that S thing? No, wrong S things. Circle eight box. Excuse me? That they 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 don't, they don't really need to turn black. That unless they're like Now what? <coughs> oh, the curse is gone, we can open well, the actually, door. No, we actually We improved the door by like Burning the room into the door. I can't begin to imagine yeah, what happened. Not really normal. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, the gate. Oh, that's the woman we saw earlier and kind of. A Ignored, actually. Yeah, I can't say I paid attention there, but oh well. Let's see, let's just pick the... No, we can't do that. It's too picky. Shame. The owl. I was about to try and talk to the owl. <coughs> this is a witch's familiar. But it disguised itself as an owl. Its witch might be nearby. You better keep an eye out. Uh, <coughs> will do. Those out are the ones that like send you the Slytherin letters. You don't want to meet up with them. Oh, there we go. Oh, in the objects. All right, if we can play a game of a uh, match. Uh, no, it's Bubble Blaster in this game, I believe. In case you don't want to do an object puzzle. But in all respect, the same as. Um, you were gonna say something? Yeah, we. Yeah, the symbol's different, but is it similar to the one we played in the last game? Yes, it is. No, so, okay. I suppose they do, it's good to change the look of all these games since, well, Detective Mystery to Fantasy World. Probably don't want them to be, like, too similar, because what's the deal? 
let's see here. I think people get suspicious. <laughs> <clears throat> well, some of the same games in the same series do keep the same interface design. Well, that, that's good, yeah. Same series is fine, since it's the same world and all that, but... but yeah, yeah these games probably don't work if they're in, like, the same universe. That's... Doesn't like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, tobacco. Oh, yeah, this is got to stuff a pipe. That's... Boom. Let's see, and I just put this thing together. Let's take this before we forget. Right. They're and throwing, then... the, like, achievements at us right now. Oh my gosh, you're completing puzzles! Yeah, that's how you the fuck, and you're all on my award! Appreciate it. Alright, so we got this. That shamrock needs a few somethings. Yeah, it's about it broke, but we have all the pieces for it, so yeah, yes. All the pieces are in place, so now we get a thing. Alright. A mini shamrock. That works. <laughs> Let me see. I, I'm pretty... Did I find... I found some of the songs that they ripped off in this game, but I still haven't found this one yet. Uh, well, I tell you what, that's not going to be anything I can try help you with. I, that's fine. You've had a lot more experience with this than I have, so whatever music it comes from, I'm sure you heard it first. Great. Or, uh, give us. Please, that works. Solomon, we need your help. A witch from your world is trying to open a doorway into our world. King Oberon awaits here with his army, ready to conquer your world. The witch is using magic she's taken from the fairy folk. Her power is increasing, and soon she'll open the doorway. What, that was just like an R2-D2 projection for us? Yep, and now it's all rock. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> First a pixie and now a woman talking to me from a crystal ball. I'm not sure why Ryder. I like how we still push, just like, why didn't our grandfather tell us about any of this? Because he wouldn't have believed him if he said. <laughs> Got this. That Too easy. That was like so wizard right there. We just solved that in two seconds. Oh, I mean, excuse us, miss. There's a curfew on, don't you know? Uh, but I guess we could let you pass. On one condition. The you puzzle. could open up this barrel of cranberry juice for oh. us. Our official Getting watch work policy states that watchmen are forbidden from opening barrels of any kind while on watch. See how That's it works? You if you open right. the barrel, no one's breaking any rules. What do you say? Open up the barrel, and we'll let you pass. Cool. Have you had problems with opening barrels before? I'm, otherwise, I don't know why they would ban it. Well, may, maybe they're not allowed to drink stuff on watch or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, their cranberry juice comes out purple. I, I suppose that's... It's their funeral. There. Now, how can we help you? 